Michael Chabello, welcome to Festival Hall in Melbourne, welcome to the return of the man. Joining me ringside as always, my verbal sparring partner, former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion Mark the Hammer Castanini. Mark the Hammer, tonight we're going to see it, the return of the one, the only, Stan the Man Longaniti. Well, I'm looking forward to tonight's fight, Michael, it hasn't been here for a while, the House of Stouts Festival Hall. George Longaniti is making his debut, Tony Antonio, and of course the main and the one and only the man, Stan the Man, the myth, as we've dubbed him here tonight. I'm sure that uh, it's going to be a, a fully, a fully uh, stacked card. The crowd's shaping up. They're right, queued up right out the front doors. It's going to be a, an action-packed night. Should be something special indeed. Hammer, let's go grab our seats. As I'm sure you will. Hold on to your seats, folks. We've got kickboxing action coming straight at you. And stepping into the centre ring. Our first fight of the night can be conducted under super lightweight Ben Smallen from Shepparton. And a good evening to you, Mark the Hammer. Yes, good evening, Michael. Well, Ben Smallen, as you said, just stepping into the ring. Predominantly uh, a Muay Thai exponent, uh, Ben Smallen. Last time I seen him in action, he did a really fine job uh, with great use of knees. And I believe that was uh, probably about uh, six, seven months ago. But uh, Ben Smallen's back here tonight, and I think this uh, fight's under uh, traditional leg kick rules. And stepping into the ring with trainer Laos Tui, stepping into face Ben Smellon, our first fight of the night at Zelko Petrovic, Mark. Well, Zelko Petrovic coming from uh, the Laos Tui stable. You can bet uh, he's going to be a good leg kick, he'll have good powerful leg kicks on him. But uh, Ben Smellon, from what I remember, as I said earlier in his last fight, fairly good leg checker, so uh, Smellon's going to have to really... Third man in centering, referee Bryce Burt was with both men. Ben Smellon against Zelko Petrovic. Super lightweight schedule for three by two. So we kick up our night here at the House of Stoush Festival Hall in Melbourne. Later on this evening, of course, okay. the return of the icon. Stand the man Longanides, but for the moment, Ben Smellon out of the blue corner. Zelko right, Petrovic out of the red corner. Thanks for joining us. No smoking Third man in centering. Your first train mark the hammer. Bryce Burt whistle. Bryce Burt whistle. Uh, the control of these two guys and... Uh, very uh, good referee, centre man he is indeed. But uh, I may, may be a little biased there, Michael. A tie up early, Smellon working the right knee. This fight under tie rules, as we've seen. Smellon tie up against the ropes. Trying to get the advantage. Just one of the many fights we have scheduled tonight. Of course, we will see George the Iron Lion Longanides coming up soon. Brother, younger brother of Stan the Man, fighting as a super heavyweight against Steve Hall from New South Wales. Also the wonder, Tony Antonio and the Terry Nick Totoris. At the moment, it's Zelko Petrovic tying up Smellon. Smellon a nice right knee to the ribs. Well, Petrovic not giving Smellon much room to work those knees to the midsection. See Smellon checking the knees there of Petrovic as they break. Petrovic letting fly off the big right hand. Smellon just tying him up. And both men feeling right on home using the knees early on in this bout mark. Well, they're trying to get in for the grapple. No one's really been clean enough yet there. Uh, you see Smellon, he's gone for the grapple, but he's, he's under the armpits. Of, uh, of Petrovic, he's got, to, he's got to get over the top of the shoulders and hook the head, therefore giving the, uh, the body a little bit more uh, leverage. He can, he can then swing uh, Petrovic around more, but it, uh, if he's got him around the upper body under those arms, it's just too much of a low grapple. Nice front kick, round kick combination by Petrovic. Smellon came back with the right knee, turns Petrovic around over near the neutral corner. Knees to that left rib cage again by Smellon. Both fighters uh, throwing some knees, but no, right. no really clean shots due to the fact that both their hips are uh, oh. locked in there together. There's the end of the first round of action. Petrovic in the affair was sitting back with the super fight connect. How do you see that one, Hammer? Well, it was an even round, Michael. Uh, I'd have to say Smellon that initiated a bit more of the attacks, but uh, they were pretty much nullified by Petrovic, and uh, those slapping knees to the, uh, to the side of the ribcage didn't really have a lot of effect. But they, what uh, the fighters have to do is they've got to give themselves a bit more leverage, swing the hips out a bit, and then uh, chamber the knees into the midsection a little more. Second match, round two. All is in red for the second round of action. Super light right down. Three by three. Back. Back. Out of the red corner. Stable. The Asian bull, now two in. Against the red smell. Trying to 
quite fast from Shepparton in the blue corner. That's fine up the right away. Stop! Stop. Stop. Right okay, back to the head, all right? Of course, uh, all right. the trainer of... Uh, right. Well, we're out there from Shepparton, BJC, Bob Jones Corporation trainer. And, uh, he's certainly done well with uh, with Ben Smellon, a very uh, accomplished fighter. Smellon is a very tough competitor. Petrovic just banging away to the body. Smellon has him tied up. Stop. Petrovic trying to work the high okay. left knee to the ribs. Smellon did a good job of negating Oi. it. A smile on the face of Ben Smellon. Tie fighters, Mark. Oh. Connects there for good right hand. Well, Petrovic certainly getting busier with the body punches now. That's got to be good for uh, for, for the scorecard. Smellon uh, just a little lazy uh, starting this the second round. Petrovic. Coming on strong with his hands. Smellon ties him up. Capacity crowd here at Festival Hall. Michael, uh, Pat Christoffi, done a great job of promoting this uh, this night. Petrovic just lands that straight left. Smellon comes firing back now. There's a nice round for the ribs by Petrovic. Back Smellon into the neutral corner. Well, Smellon is, is hooking on the Petrovic's head. But he's not really oh. doing anything from there. If he's going to hook his head like that, he should be working the knees up underneath rather than just uh, right. standing there hanging on. Petrovic certainly... Uh, the oh, the high! The high left round kick hammer and shook him that time. Certainly did. Petrovic, Nicely timed. Petrovic coming, uh, coming on strongly now in the second round. Beautiful high left round kick there by Zelko Petrovic. Stunned Ben Smellon. Stop. Smellon ties him up over the neutral corner. And Bryce Burt was all there to separate both men, keep it nice and clean. Oi. This has been Petrovic's round so far. He comes firing again, lands the good left hand. Up. And there's the end of the second round, a strong one for Zelko Petrovic. Well, Zek Zelko Petrovic just came on strong that time, listened to uh, the instructions of the corner. And every time uh, Smellon went for the grapple, Petrovic came, uh, came up underneath uh, with those body punches. Good solid body punching there from, uh, from Petrovic. And of course, as you said, the, uh, the left round kick. Uh, followed by the right hand, really did uh, did him no harm on the judges' scorecard. So Zelko Petrovic certainly, I'd give that round to him, uh, and it's going to come down the wire here. But Smellon's really going to have to pick it up in the last round. Let's go, fires, let's go. Touch gloves. Bryce oh, Bird was red. instructing both men to touch gloves. We're ready to rock and roll. Third and final round of action. Super lightweight bout. Petrovic came on strong in the second round. And he starts like a house on fire here in the third. Smellon ties him up over against the ropes. Stop. The tie tactics haven't really worked for Smellon so far. Petrovic waiting in there with a the big right hand. Smellon ties him up. Nice knee there by Petrovic, a display of strength, dumping Smell onto the canvas, Mark. Well, Ben Smell actually right. looking a little flat here tonight. So Petrovic certainly taking uh, taking it right up to him. Perhaps he's making him look flat. Petrovic's uh, all over Ben Smell at this stage. Working the knees quite well. Strong showing Stop. from Petrovic. Bryce Purpose all there to keep it clean. He exploded right. in the second round, Zoko Petrovic. Comes home strongly again here in the third by the looks of things. A nice round kick for the ribs. And just throwing Smellon to the canvas up. again. Wait. A one kilogram weight advantage to Petrovic. Stop. Weighted at 61.4 kilo last night at the weigh-in. Smellon at 60.4. Smellon's looking quite lean, Michael. Uh, you can see he, he doesn't carry much body fat at all. Sometimes that's not always a good thing because, uh, of course, your, uh, your energy stores can be depleted if you get too lean coming into a fight. Here comes Petrovic again, banging away at the body of Ben Smellon. Smellon in a world of hurt over against the ropes, forced to cover up. Bryce Pertwistle yeah. moves in, and this one's all over. It's a TKO victory for Zalko Petrovic. There you have it. Bryce Pertwistle just uh, looking after Ben Smellon. Ben Smellon not doing enough. And Zalko Petrovic, a good win to this uh, strong young man here tonight. Just took it right up to smell and worked on the inside of his gravel well. Landed some uppercuts and some very, very solid body shots, which I took the, the wind right out of this. Congratulations to the great fight of the Would you come into the ring, please, and present the goodies for the opening bouts, which Brad Spoon was to call the hold to. Will it be official ready for just a moment? Yeah, that doesn't need to go any longer. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Christ Mendes has done the bout. One minute and 43 seconds into the third and final round. Retaining his unbeaten stands up all petrol. Heavyweight all the way from New South Wales being stepped into the ring by his trainer Rob Murdoch and Steve Heil, Mark. Well, Steve Heil, last time uh, we've seen uh, Steve Heil down here in Melbourne Town, he was uh, taken out in, I think, the second round. But uh, he's here tonight for business. He said to us earlier that uh, he's here to make amends. Boys. Loves fighting in Melbourne and uh, hoping to do a lot better in this bout. Longanides makes his way to the ring. This is the much awaited debut of the younger brother of Stan Longanides. What a sight it is to see the Iron Lion pulling off the gloves for the first time here tonight at the House of South Festival Hall. Master Hammer, look at the Iron Lion and George as he hops into the ring with Master Trainer Dana Goodson. Well, Michael, uh, the similarity is uncanny. George Longanides and Stan Longanides. You'd have to be forgiven to. Uh, Given for uh, thinking what was the other, but uh, George trying to emulate the uh, achievements of his brother Stan. It's going to be a big ask for him. And I'm sure there will be a lot of pressure on this young man. But uh, George Longvenet is here making his debut against Stu Healy. It's going to be interesting to see, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of our feature attractions. It's super heavyweights in the ring at this time. Three rounds of interstate kickboxing. Would you welcome on my left with Rob Murdoch in the corner from Camden South, New South Wales. He fought here last May at Sunshine, scaling a massive 107.20 kilograms with a record of four bouts, two wins. It's hammer time. Steve Hyde. Steve Hyde, the color with colors, black with whites. A glass ring in the red corner, living up to a family reputation from Vermont, South Victoria. 20 years of age, scaling 96.50 kilograms. Part of the last of the day, 80 champion ship strong stable. Would you love the boys big to move? At the house of the Iron Lion, George Longanini! We are going to ask you, you ready to celebrate the world tennis show, world conquering the champion, the big man, Bruce Lee. Hello, gentlemen. We are going to ask you, you ready to celebrate George, George Longanini, and Steve. Hi. This oh. year is in Australia George. kickboxing the debut of the Iron Lion, George Longanides. Up against Stephen Hyle all the way from New South Wales. Here's the stare down. You understand my directions. I want a good clean fight. Obey my rules at all times. You touch gloves now and come out and touch gloves on the last round. Good luck to both of you and God bless. Well, Stephen Hyle, Michael, he certainly has a uh, fight and reach advantage. Uh, he's going to want to use his, uh, his front kick followed by possibly a leg kick. George, on the other hand, is going to getting close with the overhand right which is his Stand brother's trademark of course and, uh, just he's just got forward. powerfully built legs so uh, I'm sure he'll be no slouch when it comes to the leg kick the one one. Right hand of his is certainly going to uh, have a lot of power in it 
You've got George Long and Eddie's in there at 96.4 kilo. Steve Hyle at 107.2. There's more beef than a cattle ranch in centre ring tonight. Front kick there by Hyle. Look at the build on the Mastodon, George Longanides. What a machine he is. Nice leg kick there by Longanides. Swing with that lethal trademark Longanides left hook. I was going to have to use his front kick and really keep uh, Longanides away because if Longanides gets in close and, and uh, works works that leg, works the hands, I was going to be in a, in a world of, uh, of bother. It's like watching Stan the man Longanides perhaps five or six years ago. That's one thing Hull doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to trade leg kicks with. Um, he doesn't want to trade leg kicks with Longanides. Hyle, very tentative, showing Longanides a lot of respect so far. Nice outside leg kick to that lead leg by Longanides. He's chopping away at Hyle so far. And your third man what? is entering, Big Bruce Haynes. Well, George hasn't unloaded with any uh, punches at this stage. He's just happy to trade leg kicks. He's going to try and uh, should be trying to get in nullify. Hiles reach and then work his hands, rip to the body, uppercut, overhand right. That, that uh, would be a good game plan for Longanides. Well, look at the look of intensity on the kisser of George Longanides. Well, well, George is going to really uh, want to make an impression on uh, Steve Hull at, at this uh, point of the fight. Uh, he's going to want to try and intimidate him a little. And uh, the longer it goes on, the more confident uh, the New South Wales boy will be. Longanides continues to chop away at that lead leg. Those leg kicks will make Stephen Hall wish he was someplace else. Well, Hall, he's got clubbing punches. He's got to, he's got to punch straight. Right. Hall there One. with the high right round kick on the side of the head. Just caught long Three. the He's been wobbled. Four. He he's has definitely. Right. You're right. Looking in his Six. eyes. He's in a bit of bother Seven. there. He's in a bit of bother, Eight. Michael. Look at me, George. Nine. Bruce Haynes applying the standing count to the iron line. And there's the end of the round. Mark the hammer, the iron line. The bell well, sounded. That, that round, that round going to... Uh, Steve Hiles, so that's not good news for uh, Longanides because Hiles is going to come out a lot more confident in the second round. Too tentative by Longanides? Well, he's probably uh, showing him a little bit too much respect. Uh, Longanides should, take, should have taken the advantage to really charge like charge uh, Stephen Hiles down. Rather than stand there and try and take leg kicks. At the moment, the iron line is really going to be put to the test in the second round. Serious word with Sam in the corner there. Two. Let's see how they go. We're ready Close. to rumble in the second round of this super heavyweight contest. Time Stephen out. Heil and the Iron George. Man, George Longanides. And Dr. Peter Lewis just conferring with Longanides in the corner before the commencement of the second round. Well, the doctor's really got to make sure the fighters are okay before he recommences. Okay. And uh, he's given centre referee Bruce Haynes Fight. the word there. George doesn't want to get tagged again. Right. Longanides right. charging across right. the ring. Right. opens up like right. a house on fire. Right. Connects right. a short right hand to the head right. of Hyle. That's what he's got to do. He's right. got to, by Hyle. He's got to right. get in and just charge right. Hyle and Watch not give him any room. Because right. uh, right. that was his mistake. Right. Give Hyle a little bit too much room. Hide and reach advantage is very great for George Longanides. Longanides the big left hook. He could take it back here, George Longanides. He's got to get his hand work up. He's got to stay upright, not duck his head, Michael. He's got to stay upright. He's already, he's already uh, height and reach advantage deficit. He's right. got to be upright. Right. right. Longanides. Right. Stephen Hyde Good. connecting with some front kicks so far. The height and reach advantage going the way of the New South Welshman. Right. Longanides the leaping left hook. Right. Hyde just right. smiling at him right. at the Good. moment. Longanides was rattled at the end of the first. Wanted to come up strong here in the second round. Right. The iron line. George has just got to jab straight, Michael, and follow with that big right hand. Jab in on hole, body headshot maybe, rather than always leading with the uh, with the hook. Right up, right, right, Straight punches right could be the order Thank of the you. day. Longaninis is chopped away at that lead leg in the first round. There he goes to town again on it. Deep purple and red welts on the rear left thigh of Stephen Heil. Now in close, Longaninis right short right hand to the side of the head. Heil right, just smiles right. at him. Right. And Bruce Haynes there to separate both men. Well, as I said, the longer this fight goes on, the more confident the New South Welshman will be, Michael. And the longer he is, he's going to want to get on. Possibly uh, forget the right. left hook because right. uh, I think he's worked that one out, right. Stephen Hull. Yes. He's going to want to lead in with possibly a jab and a big right. overhand right. With that much bulk behind him, you can be sure his right hand is going to leave an impression. Longer is the leg kick again. 
Nice high right round kick there by Stephen Hyle. Longanidis chop away at the lead leg. They'll take the starch right out of the man from New South Wales. Catches that round kick on the glass, Longanidis. Just evades the right. front kick. There's the end of the second round. And Hyle finishing the round strongly yet again. Hyle finishing strongly. But George uh, looking a little better in at the second round. He's probably uh, getting rid of those nerves in the first round. And uh, you'd have to ask yourself how... Uh, how much pressure is on uh, this young man, George Longanides? I mean, I wouldn't want to have this much pressure on me stepping into the ring for my first fight. You know, his brother is po probably uh, the best-known kickboxer in Australia, if not uh, one of the best in the world. And uh, that is a big reputation for anyone to live up to. So therefore, you know, George is going to step into this ring and he's just going to have so much pressure on his shoulders. As broad as they are, Michael, that's going to be a hell of a lot of, uh, a hell of, a lot of uh, pressure for anyone to, to bear. Mark, what, what would Dana be saying to George in the corner of the lane? Well, there, uh, I heard Stan ringside here just saying, you know, work the body, come over to the top with the right hand. You know, that's good sound advice. Because he is so much shorter, he's going to want to work, work in tight, nullify the gap, and then go to work the base after that big ball he's got behind him. Steve Hull is just getting more and more confident as, as oh, this take it goes down. on. But uh, I'm really impressed with uh, George's tenacity. You know, he come back well in the please. second round after That's being well and truly rattled in the first. They touch gloves for the third and final round of action. Oh. Super heavyweight bout. Longanides opens up the leg kick. Hyle checked it. Went for the high front kick off the right leg. Hyle now going downstairs with a leg kick to the lead leg. Longanides continues to pepper away at that front leg. Now leads in with the big left hook. The iron line, Longanides just caught that high right round kick. High with the front kick off the lead leg, using his height advantage to good effect. Longanides right. ties him up, tries right the short right to the side of the head. It. Bruce Hayne, right better separate right. both men. Right, Pyle right. right. moves in. The Hull. big front kick off the right leg again. Well, he's really using that front kick well, Steve Hull. He knows he's got the, uh, the reach over George, and he's just right. trying to pick right. him off right. with that front kick, which is very clever tactics. Uh, from the New right. South Wales corner. Longanides goes downstairs, that leg kick again. Hiles checking right. him so right. far in this right. round. George, watch behind, grab him behind Tremendous there. support behind the iron line, George Longanides. It's great to see him in the ring. Well, George, and win or lose tonight, let's hope that he goes on with a great kickboxing career. You've got to remember too, Michael, George is fighting uh, a right, more experienced out, opponent yes. in, in Stephen Hull. He's had a few right, bouts, travelled down right, from New right, South right, Wales. Right. You know, he's Come been on, around. Right and uh, George is uh, right. doing uh, what a lot of novices don't usually do, and that is fight someone with a little more experience. So uh, it's a credit to George for doing that. Very good point indeed, Mark the Hammer. Longanides goes for that front leg yet again. Ties Hyle up, right. short right hand to the right. side of the head. Line. Plenty of instruction being yelled from the corner by Dana Goodsman. Likewise by Rob Murdoch in Hyle's corner. Well, George coming coming good now, but he's got to try and get that eight count back. Hyle is wary of that, and he's playing he's playing clever ca right. tactics, just uh, just keeping uh, Longanides away from him. But George really has to uh, right. bite the bullet and uh, throw caution to the wind somewhat and give it his all. Nice inside leaky fire Hyle, then a couple of blows to the bread basket. Right, right, right. Longanides with short right hand to the ribs, and there's the Show end of the round, wish. the third and final round, super heavyweight slug bet between the Iron Lions, George, George Longanides and Stephen Hyde. Well, George Longanides coming up, coming up strong, you know, second and third round, but uh, I can't help but worrying for him because of the count he uh, received in the first round. That's not going to do the scorecard any good for him. But uh, nevertheless, as I said, a good debut from him. You know, he took a knock and he come back from it. And that's, uh, that's a big thing to do in your first bout in front of a capacity crowd here at uh, Festival Hall. What a big ask for this uh, young man. A very brave debut indeed by the Iron Lion, George Longanides. And let's take nothing away from Stephen Hull. Came down from New South Wales to face... Well, it's a challenge facing any man with the surname Longanides, Mark, when he's well, stepping into the kickboxing ring. Certainly George uh, has been preparing for this bout for some time. And, uh, you know, a big ask. He's a, he's a pretty uh, heavy, heavy young man for his height. And uh, I can't, I can't uh, in the wonder. In the 1970s, but now it's Triple M, Rocks Melbourne. Ladies and gentlemen, well done, Carly. We have a split decision. By majority points, the winner, Red Corner, George Longanese. The Iron Lion. A very disappointed Steve Hyer. George, congratulations. 
must be an enormous look towards the camera, George. It must be an enormous burden. You know, stepping in here knowing that you're the younger brother of a great world champion icon of kickboxing. Has it been sort of like carrying it on broad shoulders? Oh, before I answer that, uh, I have some very special to say to us. Most important thing is that I'd like to thank my heavenly father, Jesus Christ. I love you very much. And I give all the glory to him. Win, lose, or draw. This is just a sport to me, it's not very important. It's something that I wanted to do for a very long time. And uh, my brother's uh, one of the best fighters there is in the world. And it definitely puts a little bit of pressure on me. But uh, I try to use that as motivation and as uh, everything in the gym to train hard. And I know it was going to be hard. He had uh, 11 kilos on me, 7 inches of height. So really, I was the underdog, no matter what the experience that I had through stand. Because I was just uh, so small and him. But I'd like to thank him, and uh, that's all I have to say. And there's a few people that I have to thank. My brother, of course, and my family, who I love very much. My trainer, Daniel Goodson, who uh, it's going to be a sad thing to see him leave uh, Australia and go to his uh, homeland. He will be missed. And everyone that's for choice stars. My girlfriend, who I love very much, Nessie, she surprised me, bringing her out here from Sydney. And uh, everybody, my family in particular, my sister, who I love very much too. All my friends and my mother who's at home praying on her knees. And we lose the draw. It didn't matter as long as I came out of it all right. And I love her for all the prayers that she's uh, given to God for me. Thank you very much. And making his way into the ring all the way from South Australia, a man who we've become used to seeing here in Victoria, it's Jim Guntunas, led to the ring by his trainer, Sarun Shea. Well, Jim Guntunas, Michael, he's uh, had some epic battles here in Melbourne against the uh, Chick Bayhead, of course. A very, very accomplished uh, achiever. I'll go out on the limb to say probably one of South Australia's best uh, fighters, Jimmy Guntunas, a very, very tough campaigner with a, uh, a good arsenal of, uh, of all manner of weapons. And being led to the ring by his trainer, Kelly C. The man they call Fast Eddie, Slick Eddie Delic. Scheduled for four by two, welterweight contest this one. Eddie Delic, Mark, facing Jingun Tunis. Well, Fast Eddie Delic, Michael, Fast indeed, Fast and Slick. He's got his Slick down as his ring name now. He is a very slick mover, a very cagey character, hard man to catch. The only chance that uh, Jingun Tunis will have is if he can get uh, Delic into a corner and unload on him. But if he stands there and uh, trades punches with him in centre ring, Delic will just be too far. Delic also a good mover off the ropes. He moves very, very well off the ropes. And of course, with uh, with his trainer Kelly C. Taekwondo have keto background. Kelly's a very, very accomplished trainer. Kuntun is bouncing about in his corner, ready to rumble against Delic. Delic, an unorthodox fighter, keeping on his movement. Well, another very, very evenly matched bout here by Pat Christoffi. Put on an excellent show here tonight, Michael. The capacity crowd. No, it's been a while since we've seen such a crowd here at uh, Festival Hall. And uh, credit must go to the promotional team, Black and Blue, and uh, Kick Enterprises. Everyone who uh, had a part in putting this show together. Well, Dalek moving around the ring early on. Good tunis. Head up with it and went downstairs to one of those cracking leg kicks. He is a powerhouse fighter, Contunas. Contunas will just stalk him and work those leg kicks, especially to the lead leg. And if Delic is carrying some sort of injury on that left leg, he's going to have trouble checking the kicks of Guntunas. Guntunas, a no messing around in your face kind of guy. Guntunas is trying to back Delic into the corner there. Delic's very comfortable with working out of the corner. Just wore a white hand, right hand there from Guntunas. Guntunas caught him flush on the kiss with a short right. Delic trying to stay mobile early. Comes with a big overhand right, followed by the left tilt. Didn't quite find the mark. Has to be aware of those inside and outside leg hits of Guntunas. The man from South Australia, very hard customer. And how will Guntunas fare against the unorthodox style of Delic? Here goes Delic again, dancing around the ring. Guntunas just winding up the big leg kick. Came close, but no cigar. And a bit of a shuffle over near the neutral corner from Delic. Nice combination there. Finished with the high left left round kick. Third man in centering again. World power breaking champion Bruce Haynes. Yeah. 
Dalek just inviting Contunas in. Nice kick there from Dalek, and again, present kick right. by Dalek. Well, that's a new one, right. Michael. I haven't seen Dalek throw those present kicks before. Perhaps a bit of that uh, Akito and Taku and Dwayne training uh, coming into play there. Good even first round with uh, Jim, Jim Guntunas uh, unloading very early in the first round, letting uh, Dalek feel some of his power. But uh, Dalek coming home strongly towards the end of the first round and uh, finishing quite well. And I'd have to say uh, on the scorecard, it could possibly possibly uh, sway a little uh, to the side of uh, Eddie Dalek. But uh, take nothing away from uh, Jim Guntunas, who started very strongly. And now he's had a look at Dalek. He's talking to his trainer there working in the corner. He's going to have uh, a bit of advice for him and uh, hopefully uh, come back uh, strong in the second round. Or will uh, Eddie Dalek just uh, come back even stronger? Mark, how frustrating would it be for a big leg kicker like the shooters to try and chase a mover like Eddie Dalek and plant one of those legs and with Dalek dancing around the ring? Well, he's had opportunities there where uh, Dalek sort of backed himself into that neutral corner. And uh, Tunis could have unloaded, but he didn't. And, uh, I sort of feel that was a bit of an oversight on his on his behalf, especially if his uh, power kicking is his asset. Uh, he sort of let Delic slip through there. But uh, back into the second round, we'll see what Contunas has to offer here. We're rumbling in the second round of action. Delic moving around again. Contunas just waiting out with the left hand. That's high up over in the red corner. Right coin! Contunas looking to plant those lethal leg kicks to Dalek's lead leg. There's one. Dalek checks it. Contunas just hammers away at him. We saw him employ that tactic against Jink Bake in those two epic fights he had against the Great White Shark. And Guntunas, one of the real hard men of South Australian kickboxing. Dalek content to sit back in the red corner. Fires up the high left round kick. There's not enough mustard behind it. Shuffles over into the neutral corner, launches the big overhand right, following up the high left round kick again. Delic, of course, a, uh, also a, a fairly uh, accomplished amateur boxer. That's where he gets his hand speed from and his hand combinations. Watch grab on the way, Eddie. He can put it all together. Sorry, Michael, he can put it all together, uh, Eddie Delic. The high left round kick seems to be one of Delic's more favoured weapons so far. Moves with the front kick off the right leg. Launches the flicking high right round kick, then goes downstairs to the outside left thigh of Guntunas. Guntunas not as busy in this round so far, just trying to land one and measure off his distance against Delic. He continues to move around the ring, just throwing Guntunas' timing off. He's moving in, stinging Guntunas, and then moving out of trouble. There's the overhand right, short right, right. uppercut there by right Delic. Right. He likes that overhand right. right, hasn't really found the mark so far. Well, Gontunas just not busy enough, Michael. This is relying on those one-two combinations and Dalek just firing back as he always does. Gontunas has to get a lot busier. Gontunas continues to dance around the ring. I should say Dalek continues to dance. Gontunas continues to stalk him. There's the end of the second round, Mark. A good one there for Eddie Dalek. Well, I'd, I'd give that round uh, strongly to Eddie Dalek. Gontunas just not doing enough. He's trying to stalk him, but uh, when he does get him... Uh, Backed up against the ropes or something. He's On really Sunday, crazy. September 27. Second touch. Very flowery technique. But he's throwing the crescent kick, then bringing the right hand after it. And that's uh, what has got the sting. But Contunas is just too weary of uh, Eddie Dalek. And uh, I don't know, he's got to do a little more. It's a four, two, two rounds ago. It's a four right. rounder. Perhaps uh, Contunas can, uh, can think up a, a new game plan because the one he's using certainly isn't working. We're underway in the third round of action. This for the East Coast welterweight title. Kultunas there lands right. a nice left hand. Right, Corey. Hey. Short left to the chin What's there the of Dalek, but it actually connected with the elbow and a warning there from referee right. Bruce Haynes. Front kick there off the left by Dalek. Dances himself back against the ropes again, positioning himself near the corner. Kultunas tries to fire out the big left hook. Didn't quite find the mark. Dalek likes to use the ropes. He uh, slingshots himself off the rope. That's clever tactics from him. Where most fighters are uncomfortable to be, Dalek's uh, very, very uh, happy to be there, be it in the corner or against the ropes. Really has a lot of potential there, Dalek, to go a long way. And hopefully, trainer Kelly Seif can really bring that potential out of him. There's a high left round kick by Guntunas. Dalek just caught it on the gloves, now backs himself into the red corner. No, continues to move around the ring, circling the ring. Guntunas just looking at him. 
And Delic really taunting the man from South Australia. I think it was uh, Bruce Lee that said good footwork can beat any opponent. And certainly, certainly uh, Eddie Delic putting that theory to the, uh, the test here tonight. Delic also playing mind games with Kutunis, really taunting the South Australian. Kutunis now connects with the lethal left hook in the red corner. Delic dances out of dodge. Well, Guntunas connected over there in the red corner. He caught him sweetly. Well, that's what Guntunas has to do a lot more of. He's got to get busy. And when he does get uh, Delic into the corner, he's got to unload, Michael, instead of letting him off the hook every time. Strongest flurry of the fight so far for Guntunas. Two leg kicks there to that lead leg of Eddie Delic. Oh, nice inside leg kick by Guntunas and goes to town again with his hooks. Guntunas, another leg kick. Delic in a spot of Boba. High right now, kick by Delic. Well, what a slug left to end the third round of action, Mark the Hammer. A good one there from well, the South Australian. Gontunas come back well in that round. It started to uh, get a little bit more aggressive, Michael. That's certainly uh, what he's got to be doing. But Eddie Delic's still a little too slick for him. And uh, using the footwork, you know, dancing, dancing, and uh, moving all the time is uh, slick Delic. But uh, Gontunas just really, uh, I don't know if it was frustration or just aggression coming through towards the end of that uh, third round. And uh, as we head into the fourth round, it's going to be a real slug fest, I can feel it. And, uh, Second round, fourth round, final round. Delic's a very, very accomplished fighter. He's a very comfortable fighter in uh, centre ring. And it uh, takes a lot to phase him. And uh, that's certainly what the Guntunas is going to have to do. He's going to have to find a lot to phase uh, Spaghetti. Both men touch gloves and we're underway. The fourth and final round of action. Delic moving around again, circling the ring. Guntunas just stalking him. Front kick there by Delic. Nice high left round kick by Delic. That backward shuffle around the ring. Poise is in the red corner. Guntunas unwound there with a nice leg kick, but it didn't find the mark. Big overhand right there by Delic. Guntunas now fires back, sweeping right. leg kick again. Right. Right. But his distancing wasn't there. He has to be right. careful of those Guntunas. Would maybe be wise to have a follow-up kick after he misses with the leg kick, Mark. Well, he's, uh, he should perhaps follow up with uh, a side kick, something like. When that leg kick misses, you are a little vulnerable. And uh, you've got to be still be able to uh, defend uh, defend against your opponent if you miss Back with that right, uh, leg kick. Delic sitting in the blue corner. Good turn is chopping away at his legs again. Well, the knows he's got to, he's got to get uh, Delic uh, at least a count. Because I feel... Uh, Contunas is a little behind on the judges' scorecards from that first and second round. Third round, you'd probably call even. And, uh, you know, this last round is really where Contunas has to make a real impression. Well, neither fighter short of energy in the final round. Can Contunas land those big leg kicks to the lead leg? Can he land the left hook to the side of the head? That might give him a count against Dalek. I think Dalek's... Uh, Figured Guntunas out a little. He's letting that leg kick whiz by and encountering. The crescent kick again there from Delic. Didn't find the mark. High right round kick to the head. Guntunas trying to measure right. him. Right clean. Trying to get Thank it you. to range and get set right. on Delic. To unwind that leg kick. The outside left thigh of Delic is reddened. High left round kick. Not enough behind it though from Delic. Dances back against the ropes. And there it is, the end of the fourth and final round. This for the East Coast welterweight title. Mark the Hammer, how do you see it? Well, I'd have to say uh, Eddie Delic, uh, for mine, hung on in that round. Uh, Contunas just not doing enough, getting frustrated uh, there in the last round, uh, as he did, I suppose, in the second round. Uh, the third round, uh, he did well, Jim Contunas, but he didn't uh, fire up in the last round as I thought he would. And uh, for mine, I'd say Eddie Slick Delic, another one to him. That goes the way of the smarter fighter. Kept moving, but uh, not a real walk-up fighter, fighter, Eddie Delic, and he doesn't have to be because he has that superior footwork, and uh, Jimmy Contunas uh, just couldn't cut him off. Ladies and gentlemen, this, after four rounds of action, back in boxing, your winner from the blue corner, Jimmy Contunas, Salisbury.
ring for our next bout of the evening. The man they call the gentleman. I call him the ticking time bomb waiting to explode. It's Adam Winch stepping into the ring with his trainer, Peter Clark. Master Hammer, it's been a while since we've seen Adam Winch in action. Well, Adam Winch is certainly uh, Peter Clark's uh, protege. Uh, you can bet that. He is a very uh, calm, cool, and very humble boy indeed. And uh, he's, he'll have his work cut out uh, for him here tonight against uh, Nick the Real Sava. But uh, for mine, Adam Winch will uh, have a, a height and reach advantage. And uh, if he sticks to his game plan, it's going to be a good, solid performer. <laughs> Trainer Pat Christoffi, it's the man they call the real one, Nick Zabba, stepping into this super light heavyweight contest against the gentleman, Adam Wee. Well, Nick Zabba, the jacket is looking a little trimmer here tonight. He's uh, trainer Pat Christoffi uh, disrobes him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is three rounds of the super light heavyweight division. Would you welcome to my left with his mentor, Peter Clark from the FTG Gymnasium in Vimva Hills. He brings in a set ring record of seven bars, six wins, scanning 82.70 kilograms, wearing Muay Thai trunks, red, white, and blue. Would you welcome Adam Winch? Adam Winch in the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome the Red Twitter. Great to catch up with him last night at Mythos Bar in the basement. He brings in a submarine record of four bars, three wins from King's Bar. He's getting 83 kilograms. Would you welcome Nick, the real Sava? Part of the West Side, Pat Christophe, the establishment. You're ever in charge? Another big man of kickboxing, Bruce Lee. Round one. Here we go in the first round of action. Winch opens up the high right round kick. A look at determination on the kicker of Adam Winch. Savard goes downstairs, fires out the big left hand. Well, it, it, it is a, I stand corrected, it's a big left. Michael, because he is a southpaw, of course, Savard. Nice kick to the ribs there by Adam Winch. The real Nick Savard went downstairs. Fight. Savard just wore a left hand to the cheek there. Winch fires out the front kick. Barreling down to the bread basket. Savard in the red corner forced to cover up. Just dancing out of trouble. Here goes Adam Winch. He's going to explode. Unleash it with the left hand. There's the high right down kick. Adam Winch has exploded in the first round as you predicted. Well, Winch. Right. Uh, right. Superior. Oh, he's caught him there with the right hand. The real mix Savard has gone down. Adam Winch, the ticking time bomb has exploded and it's all over. A knockout win for Adam Winch, Mark. Well, Adam Winch, taking it by storm. Certainly a very, very accomplished boxer. Dizzy had some good slick handwork there. He was really uh, working the midsection there of Savar, coming with the uppercuts, the rips to the body. Really well prepared uh, boxer, this uh, this Winch. And that, uh, that sort of goes to, of course, his trainer, Peter Clark. He's prepared well, winch up a treat when it comes to the hand department. And uh, Nick Sava, the brave, uh, the brave one that he is wanting to go on. But nevertheless, uh, the referee Bruce the Haynes, neck. the fighters, uh, you know, the fighters' well-being always uh, paramount. Uh, decided, and he's the one that's looking into the fighters' eyes. If Sava's uh, eyes were very cloudy or whatever, uh, big Bruce uh, Haynes there opting to look after uh, after the fighter. And uh, you'd, you'd have to respect him for that. But uh, Nick Sava wanting to go on with it. But uh, Adam Winch really winding up, just like a winch, wound up like a winch and uh, let it go. He just exploded, Mark. And uh, just, just took it all. Uh, really, really, uh, I'm really impressed with uh, the way his hands have come along. Adam Winch, uh, very, very uh, tidy handwork there from, uh, from the young man. Take nothing away from the real Nick Savart. Came into the ring tonight in superb condition. The best we've ever seen him, Mark. Well, he's looking better uh, all the time. He was caught a little unawares there by Winch. Um, usually uh, Nick Savo's a bit more of a slow starter, 
and uh, South Corey unloads with that big left hand, but uh, Winch never gives the opportunity. Yeah, let it go, let it go, let it go. We took a lot of blows there in the last one. Uh, it was in the I was counting, and uh, uh, he just didn't even look properly. I wasn't prepared to let him take any more damage than what had already happened. Uh, whether the big lines in or the people might have or not, I need to protect the fighters, not to see them injured. I called the fight off, I accept the responsibility, that's all there is to it. Mark the Hammer to see the wonder Tony Antonio in centre ring here at Festival Hall, the House of Stouch. Will he rip out that trademark wonder kick, the highest side kick to the face, here well, against the man from New South Wales tonight? Something special, Michael, Tony Antonio. I always uh, like to see this boy fight. He, uh, he's someone that uh, has brought the excitement back to kickboxing for me anyway. Always look forward to his bouts because, uh, of course, having that Taekwondo black belt uh, behind him, then coming into the kickboxing arena, being schooled by Pat Christoffi. The boy's a very complete fighter with a, with a great array of technique, uh, kicks. His punches are, are coming along quite nicely. And as I said, I'm always, uh, I'm always uh, happy to see him fight because he's always a very entertaining fighter. And he is something that kickboxing needs. When, uh, kickboxing needs entertaining fighters. There's a lot of media here tonight for uh, this promotion. And uh, certainly uh, Tony Antonio is going to put a, a good impression uh, on them for the sport. Which you are the man I am? With that, the Gorono and Lucy Tui in the corner. He comes from North of Oberga, New South Wales. First time in Melbourne record of three bouts, two wins, one loss. We're in blue trunks with a blue and black, black trunks with a touch of white. Which you are the Todd Armstrong. Todd Armstrong in the blue corner. And across the ring in the red corner, Pablo Pat Christophe's Westside Gymnasium, Isco, East Coast Champion, unbeaten in seven parts, scattering 62.50 kilograms, the Pride of Punch, the Westside Wonder Boy, Tony Antonio! Wearing a black flag with a touch of white, referee Bryce Wimbledon, three rounds of kickboxing. It's all so far. Here we go. Right. First round of action. Super lightweight skills. We've got three oh. by two. A oh, spinning hook kick by the Wonder. Antonio opens up like a house on fire. They're the trademark spectacular kicks. 
that we've come to know from the wonder. Nice left hook by Antonio. He's on fire early. There's that side kick off the left leg. That's the one that Todd Armstrong has to be careful of. Especially the one to kick to the face. Can Antonio rip it out tonight? Can he stop Armstrong with the one to kick? Of course, Michael, it's very hard for his opponents to, uh, to close the gap on Antonio because he always has those kicks firing out. And, uh, those side kicks, a lot of uh, kickboxers are unschooled in how to uh, work around the side kick. They're uh, very sort of front-on fighters. And uh, those side kicks sometimes catch un unawares. But Antonio, he also he was questioned there for a while whether he had a chin, but uh, he did say in one of his fights on uh, one of the Fights of Us promotions. We've seen him uh, take a, an eight count. And it uh, was a very solid hit that put him down, and he certainly came back well from that to, uh, to win that fight. So I was very impressed with his staying ability after uh, uh, obtaining a very heavy blow. Excellent kicking combinations there by the wonder, Tony Antonio. Inside leg kick there from Armstrong. Ties Antonio up against Fight the ropes. Out of Antonio it. turning him around. We saw in his last couple of fights, Antonio's hand coming along very strongly as well. But those sensational kicks, we haven't seen kicking like this since maybe Louis Isafidis. Off his Body head. shots there by the Wonder. Trained by Pat Christoffi. Busy man tonight, trainer and promoter Pat Christoffi. Put on a sensational show here at Festival Hall. It's packed to the rafters. Armstrong just sizing Antonio up, and Antonio leading out there with the left leg side kick. Put him there for nice overhand left. There's the high left round kick left. Oh, Antonio, a good round there for the Wonderland. Well, certainly was a good round from uh, from the time they touched gloves with that spinning uh, heel kick from Antonio. He's uh, taken it up to the New South Welshman, Todd Armstrong. But uh, Antonio, uh, certainly, I'd say for work rate, you'd have to give him that first round. And, uh, Although, Briggs, uh, with uh, some of the uh, scorecards tonight, uh, I'm very wary in uh, predicting anything, Michael, but uh, all I know is what I'm seeing is some good action here tonight in, uh, in preparation for the return of the man, Stand the Man Longanides, only two fights away. <laughs> Settle down. Seconds out. Round two. Blue, let's go. Come on, Red. Just waiting for kickboxing. Let's go. But they're showing this stuff here right. in uh, centre ring at Festival Hall. We're ready to rumble in the second round of action. Tony Antonio out of the red corner. Turn him back, kick the start. Up. Left round into the ribs by the one to Tony Antonio. Right. Up against New South Wales, Todd Armstrong. It was Antonio's round in the first. Leading up there. Hoping to throw that left side kick. Get those kicks, Armstrong that there, there was a nice inside leg kick. There's the side kick from the Wonder. The round kick by Armstrong. Mr. the target. A spinning kick there from the Wonder. Tony Antonio. What's the groin? Just it up to the Did groin there. Done. Armstrong swinging downstairs with a leg kick. Antonio just weaving out of the way of the punch. Popped another one south of the border. Armstrong chases him into the blue corner. Antonio fires back with his hands. Well, Armstrong, a very uh, awkward fighter in there for Antonio. His, his uh, arms and legs are going everywhere. He's not a straight-up fighter. He's uh, changing stance, and uh, his arms and legs are going everywhere. As I said, when he kicks, he drops his hands, his legs go up, his arms go down. So that's going to uh, confuse Antonio even a little further because he's, uh, he's not so orthodox. Antonio looking very composed at the moment. Another nice turning kick there from the Wonder. Oh, tried to drop the axe kick, it looked like there, Mark. Well, there's something we haven't seen uh, in kickboxing much at all. It's the axe kick. Oh, my yeah. God! What a fantastic technique! The Wonder Tony Antonio out of nowhere unleashes a high left rail kick. It's good night, Irene, for Todd Armstrong. I haven't seen a kick like that since Ian Jacobs brought to Westerman. The Wonder Tony Antonio has done it again. The crowd, a standing ovation here at Festival Hall. They've gone bananas for him, Mark. Well, I'll expect the unexpected when this young man fights. That was one of the best timed and executed kicks I have seen in a hell of a long time, Michael. And uh, my admiration of this young man just continues to grow. And uh, I certainly look forward to his next bout. And uh, I hope that the crowd and everyone really gets behind this, this young man. 
because he certainly has a very bright future indeed and his timing and execution of technique is really something to uh, something to stand in wonder of. I see a lot of AFL footballers here in the audience and all I say to them is take a look at this guys, this is the real deal, this is a real sport to follow, it's got action and it's got fighters like this in it and that's what we want to see. If you haven't seen him before folks you're going to see a lot more of him, that's why they call Tony Antonio the Wonder. One minute, 38 seconds into round two, your winner, by number 20, the Punch City Kid, Antonio. And here's the Wonder Boy, come on, he's sensational. Twice voted by the Professional Boxing Martial Arts Board, Tony, right at the first belt he came out, Todd put his glove out. You did a triple spin there, you're all fired up. Yeah, I did train very hard for this. There's a few people I'd like to thank. Firstly, Pat Christoffi for putting on a marvellous show. Mario, all the boys on the corner, all the boys at Westside Kickboxing Gym, thank you very much. Okay, I'd like to thank King of Clubs for the sponsorship. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, go down there, some gorgeous looking women. And I'd like to thank Amino Active also sponsorship. All my relatives, friends, thank you everyone for coming. from New Zealand, now based in New South Wales, the man they call Dangerous, Denver Matthews. Mark the Hammer, Denver Matthews, stepping into the ring to face the terror, Nick Totoris, super welterweight semi-main event. Well, I can tell you, Michael Denver Matthews is certainly going to have his uh, work cut out for him here tonight as well. Nick Totoris, Totoris, looking at picture, we spoke to his brother earlier, and uh, we were told that uh, Nick is certainly on the ball tonight. And uh, I can't see Denver Matthews dethroning uh, Nick Notorious' uh, reign of terror. Denver Matthews has been in Melbourne many times. He's done battle with the best. But uh, he's certainly going to have uh, the best to do battle with here tonight in the, uh, the picture of Nick Notorious. Okay. When you're ready, bro. Terror uh, well. time. Black Index Dingo of Dana, the trainer Goodson, the band they call the Terror. Nick Totoris, what a rugged little champion, Nick Totoris is Hammer. Well, Nick Totoris, they're wearing, showing just how versatile he is, wearing his Muay Thai title belt. He's fought under most rules, boxing, kickboxing, leg kick rules, above waist rules, Muay Thai rules. This young man has done it all in his illustrious career, Michael, as you would say. And I can tell you what, I have a the utmost admiration for him as well. I spoke to Victor Torres a couple of nights ago. He said he has really slimmed down in top shape for this fight, looking to do an absolute demolition job on the dangerous one, Denver Matthews, here tonight. We last saw to Torres in action against Shane Bishop from New Zealand. Before that, he had fought and defeated the great white shark, Jim Baig, a top fighter he is, the terror, Nick Tatori. Ladies and gentlemen, Kick Enterprise proudly presents our semi-main event. It's showtime at Melbourne's House of Stouch Festival Hall. It'll be a war for sure in Centenary, New Zealand versus Australia. Would you welcome on my left with Lucy in the corner, assisting Hayden. This young man, originally from New Zealand, dual Shaky Arms champion. He's kickboxed in Melbourne, now based in Bondi, New South Wales. He brings in a center ring, a record of 60 bouts, 44 wins. Would you welcome the danger man, Denver Matthews. 
Matthews, Matthews. Wearing white tie trunks of black, white and red. Across the ring, trained by Master Dona, Master Dana Goodson, part of an 80 championship stable. Dual Commonwealth champion, holder of five Victorian, Australian, and Oceania championships. Ladies and gentlemen, record of 46 pounds, 37 wins, one draw, eight losses, 11 big wins coming by way of knockout from Box Hill North, wearing black and blue trunks, the brand name. Would you welcome Nick? The Terror Tetsuarius! Tetsuarius! Five rounds in the Civil War Division. Dave the Rock Hitchcock. Okay, guys, I spoke to you in the room. It's more like all in case the knockdown. You must go to the first mutual point before I start counting. Fast for a break, you want a clean break. Shake hands with the clean break. Sam Booker, bar Stay restaurant. Stay in your corner, please. Rutgers Seconds down. Enjoy. Sponsoring our semi mini bits. Round one. Okay, let's go. Should be an interesting contest. Satoris opens up inside the leg kick. Satoris, of course, the southpaw. High left round kick, tried for the front kick to the midsection of Satoris. A nuggety fighter, Satoris. Excellent technique. Don't hold the head. Don't a lot hold of the head. Power. Big thumping left hand by Tatoris. Denver Matthews just caught sleeping at the moment. Nice leg kick there by Tatoris. Well, Denver Matthews is certainly going to know he's in the ring with the champion during this bout, I can tell you, Michael. In my opinion, he's thoroughly outclassed by Nick Tatoris. It's just going to be a matter of time to see how much punishment Nick Tatoris can uh, outlay on oh, Denver right, Matthews. Oh, right, 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 step back. Plugging away at the body. Okay, fight on. I agree with you, Hammer. I don't think Denver Matthews will be able to last the distance against a man up, of the power and ferocity of the terror, Nick Tatoris. So Tatoris the... lines up the left hand, don't goes hold. the right don't to the body, the cracks hold another it. one to the ribs. There's the big left hand! He drops Denver Matthews! Point. Dave Hedgecock applying one. the count to the New Zealand to Denver Matthews. Three, I'll pick it up. Matthews Four, in a world of hurt five, early on. He has six, been wobbled seven, by the power of the hands and legs of the terror, Nick Tatoris. Denver Matthews on rubber leg street, it looks like the Taurus weighs in again, chops away at the lead leg, a high right now kick, it's good night Irene, a cut to the head, Denver Matthews. The left kick has actually split the top of Denver Matthews' head, he's bleeding, bleeding profusely from that cut now. Yeah. My word, what a round kick it was there by the terror, Nick Taurus, that sent Matthews down and out of the contest. Just a sample of the incredible power of Tatoris, Mark. Well, Tatoris had Matthews in a whole lot of bother there. And uh, Denver Matthews not fighting out at all, just covering and uh, just Stay letting uh, Tatoris unload on him. And you're better off to fight back rather than stand there and let a, a fighter no, the, uh, no. the caliber of Nick Tatoris unload on you. And uh, Denver Matthews has sustained quite a substantial blow to the, to to the head from the shin of uh, Nick Tatoris. Oh, the ringside position, Dr. Peter Lewis just tending. Think of him laying down. He sits up at a big Denver better. Matthews. Referee, Dave yeah, Hedgecock. Need to scratch it straight away. Also there and assisting also, trainer Dana Goodson. Uh, he, he, he should be off standing up. Oh, man, he got mm. Yeah, right. And you know what? It's gone long ways and crossways. It's gone long ways and crossways. Yeah, no, the cut's gone that way and that way. And a round of applause there from the crowd as a very brave Denver Matthews exits through. Oh, another round of applause for Denver Matthews. Is a lot of courage to send it here. And final right, ten, right, Nick and Tatoris. Ladies and gentlemen, the battle finished at one minute, 35 seconds in the first round, which congratulate the terror. Nick And a round of applause Nick. well justified for the terror. I know you wouldn't want it to happen that way, but uh, what was it? A, a punch or a kick? What caused the cut there on Denver's, well, his head there? I was, I think, pretty sure it was a clean shit to the head. And I felt that I was shit to the head. All the best to him. God bless the kid. Um, thank you everybody for your support. My 
Detroit Stars, I'd like to thank uh, also the boys from St. Kilda Youth Club, uh, Clint Hubbard for always supporting me from the Night Club. Also, once again, everybody, thank you very much. Nick Tutoros, what a great show there he is. And the first of the controversy on the Joe Curcio show, Nick Tutoros and uh, Sam Sullivan. Maybe we'll get back one day and uh, have a rematch. Nick Tutoros. Almost as entertaining as the fighters when it gets when they get into the ring. And listen to them raise the roof. That can only mean one thing: the emergence of the one, the only, stand the man, Wanganini. What a special moment in Australian sports this is to see the man back in action at Festival Hall here tonight. Just listen to the crowd go bananas, Hammer, as the man makes his way into centre ring. I was down the man just about to step through the ropes. Looking very focused indeed. The living legend, stand the man Longanini. Salute his heavenly father. Into that armband, Michael, with the name Pantelli on it. The late Pantelli up to duty. One of Stan's former stable mates of the Dana Christian stable. And there he is, the excellence of execution, Stan the Man Longanini. Of course, uh, Michael Pantelli, a uh, big boy stars boy. One of many who have uh, put in a bit of time down there with Stan. And uh, the two people going after him tonight. With the memory of him. Stand, stand dedicated to this fight. Mark the Hammer, I'm excited, I'm sure you're excited. It's a buzz that you could only get when the man enters the ring. Well, the crowd here tonight, Michael, is testament of Stan Longanitis' um, popularity, pulling power, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. But uh, he's the only fighter in Australia that has been able to do this. And, and uh, I certainly take my hat off to the man. For the national anthem of Serbia.
Mr. Anthony Chase! Let's get ready to rumble with our main event! Ten rounds of kickboxing! Dobro Vecha, Drugomi i Druga Ritze, Malzete di Sada, Toplo Primet A, U Festival Norm, Hamu Original Noi, Kushe, Babsira e Kickbox, Sada. Who takes coin? Category E, E on the Van Joka. Delosi is Montenegro, Nixich, Yugoslavia, Yavan Pred, Stavunem, Reko, Draskovi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the blue corner from the Republic of Montenegro, scaling 103.2. Zero kilograms, wearing black trunks, with his mentor in the corner, Zako Radulovic. Would you welcome the Serbian warrior, the Serbian rock, Reko Draskovi. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, occupying the red corner, Father Master Dana, the trainers, Fitzroy Stars Gymnasium. 17 years he's been on the world kickboxing trail. A record of 85 bouts, 76 wins, three draws, six losses, 39 wins coming by way of knockout. Scaling 93.6 kilograms. Ladies and gentlemen, the original, seven times world champion. Rangadini is under Draskovic, 10 rounds. Must go to the first initial corner. They ask for a break, I want a good clean break. Have a good fight. Round one coming up. We're about to get underway, our super heavyweight slugfest. Okay, Australia versus Serbia, Michael Chabello ringside with Mark the Hammer Castanini. Coming to you from Festival Hall in Melbourne. We're out the way of the first round. The man, the myth kicks on in centre ring. Well, it's been a long time, Michael, since we've felt this sort of an atmosphere. And it's good to be back at Festival Hall in amongst break, the... Break, break, step back. Step back. It Wait, is indeed. Keep an eye on the hand of the Serbian challenger, Retko Draskovic, a world-rated boxer. Keep an eye on the leg kicks, the hardest leg kicks in the business from Stan the Man Longanidis. Draskovic oh, already break, showing some early signs with break. his left hand. Well, Stan's right not going to get lured into uh, playing that boxing game. Every time Draskovic uh, closes the gap, you'll find Stan tying him up and working at range. And that's what he's going to want to do, work those leg kicks in. Draskovic, that left hand to the body. Stan the Man, the excellence of execution, the supreme showman and the most famous kickboxer on the planet, launches that high left round kick. Draskovic uh, yet to show any sort of forte with his legs though. Nice outside leg kick to the outside left thigh by Longanides. Those leg kicks of Longanides will take the start right out of the Serbian. Draskovic just sizing him up with the hand. Dan showing his agility, just ducking under the left hook. A beautiful piece of movement there by the man. He's still got it, Mark. Well, that's not agility, Michael. That's pure experience. An inexperienced fighter would certainly get tagged. Shots to the body there by Draskovic. Hammers away, stand over the okay, red break, corner, but stand ties him up. Clean break. Right on. The Serbian looking very proficient with his hands. Nothing from him in the leg department so far. Longanese chops away at the lead leg. Those crippling leg kicks he's so renowned for. The leg kick, 
that of course six years ago shattered the chin of world champion Dennis Alexio. They're not really unleashing at this point. Just uh, having a look uh, at the Serbian. Longanetti is just firing out the left. Nice inside leg kick by the man. Longanetti is much more experienced than his younger days That's when he would unload in the first round. He takes no silly risks now, Michael. And uh, he is certainly one experienced and capable fighter. He is mature and uh, certainly he is got the Serbs number, I feel. End of the first round, they marked sort of a feeling out round for both men. Yeah, certainly uh, Dreskovic uh, tried to have a, have a bit of a, uh, an unload on Stan with those hands, but he's got no legs, you know, and that's one thing that is, uh, is going to tell the story, I believe. I believe the man uh, is going to outgun the Serbian with those powerful leg kicks. As the fight progresses, you can, you can expect to see him unleash uh, with those legs. I think uh, Dreskovic has got uh, some good body shots. Uh, he he shows uh, glimpses of, uh, of uh, putting in some good body shots on uh, Stan there. But th that's probably about it. Uh, I didn't see anything uh, too much worrying Stan. As you see him dance out of the red corner there, ducked Second under down, the hook. Please, I think he's got his ring. number. But uh, you never know. You never can tell this is the fight game. We're rumbling in the second round of action. Longanides hunting after lead leg again. Traskovic, look out for the hands on him. A couple of rip and meat hooks. Fires out the left hook. Longanides just gets under it. Fires out the high left round kick. Leg kick by Longanides. Moving very well, the man. Well, Stan's manager, okay, seated right next to me, Nick Kenos, was calling for a front kick from Stan. No, do not do that. No, he's on the back of Hold on. Tremendous support behind Draskovic here tonight. Outstanding support, as always, for the man. Draskovic just catching the high left round kick on the gloves. So Longanetti's went downstairs to the inside pie. Oh, Longanetti's catches him with that leaping left hook. The trademark left hook of Longanetti. Right, 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 listen, excuse you me. You can bet that the Serbian felt that one. I do it no more, otherwise I'll take a point off. Fight the third man in centre ring. We will have to overcome the language barrier for living legend Dave Hedgecock. Longanini's just powering away that lead leg again. Well, I'd like to see Stan probably pop out that front kick as uh, Nick Kenos was calling. I think that's going to uh, give the Serbian a bit more bother. And not Stan there trading punches. You know, now he's got to really power up with the legs and uh, start to uh, show the Serbian uh, who, uh, is, who is the man. Nice left hand ring. there by Draskovic. Sweat blew off the brow of Longanides. He's got a very crisp uh, jab, Draskovic. Nice jab on him. He's been boxing in the USA. He's made some waves over there. And a matter of pride on the line here against Longanides. Longanides connects with the short left. Here goes Draskovic. Trying down to the break. bread basket, then Step up to back. the head. Clean break. Clean break. Clean break. Do not hit the head. Just Clean pushing on. Longanides back in a display of strength by the Serbian. I think it's not going to take... Uh, Long before Stan starts to uh, unleash with some of those kicks, as there we're seeing. You can see the red welt appearing on the leg of the Serbian there, Michael, yes. already. And he hasn't even thrown uh, any real sort of kicks, the Serbian, not even a front kick, nothing. You know, if he gets into the ring with the man, you'd expect that uh, he would have some kicks to throw. Don't rely on your hands because he's going to come unstuck. Excuse me. Well, we can see a red welt on the rear left by of Draskovic. Longanides has sort of chosen his target mark and he's going after that well, lead leg. I think, uh, you know, Stan's just uh, seeing what the, what the Serbian has and uh, to mind it's not a lot. And uh, I think Stan's game plan should be just uh, start to work from range, start to chop away at the legs. And, uh, you know, from what I can see, I don't think the Serb has much in the leg department. Uh, and Stan doesn't have to get into a boxing match with him. You know, he should just keep, it, keep the range there, keep the reach, start popping the front leg, round kick after it. And uh, I think that's a probably a good safe game plan to stand that uh, may carry him to victory. We are about to roll into the third round of action between the man, the myth, stand the man, Longanini, and the Serbian challenger, Ratko Draskovic. Centre referee Dave Hedgecock clears the ring. We're ready to rumble, super heavyweight. A capacity crowd on hand here at Festival Hall, brought to you by Pat Christoffi. Draskovic opens up a couple of left hooks. Here comes the man. The man opening up now. And Draskovic just ties Longanides up. Longanides with the inside leg kicked into the outside left thigh. He could feel the thud of shin against flesh. There it is again from Longanides. The crowd on the end of their seats as he connects with an overhand right. He likes to sing a lullaby of leg kicks and then put them to sleep. 
with the overhand right. There it is, a leaping right hand by Longanit is caught. Draskovic unaware. The overhand right came close, but no cigar from Longanidis. Draskovic tries to wind up the right uppercut. Well stand nice leg kick, he just the Serbian. Draskovic goes down. Dave Hitchcock applies the count. Can he get up? His lead leg has been tenderized. Well, Will Stan has to do now. Michael's go after that leg. Draskovic in a world of hurt. It's a left leg. Stan just has to stay in range. Michael just chop away at that left leg. Longanides. He's going to be on a demolition mission now. You can bet on it. Pandemonium here in the corners. Well, you get the sense that it's only a matter of time, Michael. I tell you what, a couple more leg kicks. Longanides. I think Stan wants to take him out and he's beat him at his own game, which is boxing. Because Stan could just chop that leg away at will now. But it's two there it is again! Dreskovic goes down! Dreskovic goes down! Dave Hitchcock applies the count! He's and rattled! That's what He's happens crippled the Serbian! That's what happens when a boxer gets in the ring with a kickboxer, Michael. It's all over! It's good night, Irene! Down the man, Longanini! Has crippled the Serbian, Rekko Dreskovic! In the third round! Look at the the fifth kicks on! Look at the welts on the legs. Mark the hammer! The myth, Stan the Man kicks on in centre ring. He's back. He's back, Michael. Look at the crowd. It was only a matter of time. This man's legs weren't up to the job. And uh, Stan just had a play with him there for a couple of rounds, in my opinion, and then decided, well, this is time, buddy. You show, don't show me any respect. And I'm just going to chop you down like a big old oak. 100 goals of the MCG. <laughs> Can everybody get out of the ring, please? Who's not involved? Everyone's got to get out of the ring, sorry. Well, there everybody you have out of the ring, sorry. The incredible kicking power, the hardest leg kicker on the planet, folks. Stand the man, Longanides has done it again. Well, Stan at his number from the very start, I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, can everybody uh, leave the ring? The Mr. Dermot Brent, can you come up, please, there. the kid? And, uh, try You're to, in centre uh, ring, Dermot. The kickboxer. Dermot, this was bigger uh, than Quo Vardis, bigger than Flagger kicking 100 uh, goals. Great fight, wasn't it? The, the way the back of his uh, Ratko's leg came up after the first round, uh, just wondered how long it was going to take for him to go there, but he hung in there. He's one tough unit. OK, it's like Barry Michael wanting to fight me, Dermot, on Triple M. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one minute, 36 seconds in a round three. Your winner by knockout, Stan the Man, reconstruction on my knee. It's the ninth time I was under the knife and uh, I, I'm thankful that um, I've come back before. Uh, first of all, I would say I appreciate uh, the effort that uh, Rutherford and his crew. Uh, Rutherford obviously is a boxer in particular, so um, you know, some of those punches were pretty hard. I think I got the man in the moment. Um, first of all, I have a dedicated this way 
Thank you, God bless you all. I love you. Thank you. 